The Senior Bowl is one of those weeks that is so important to evaluating college prospects because you get a real chance to see some of these later round gems and it gives players a real chance to pop off and improve their draft stock. And there were a number of players who I think really improved their draft stock this year in Mobile. But one of the guys who I was most impressed with at the Senior Bowl was Baylor defensive tackle Gabe Hall. A guy who some people have compared to Chris Jones had an incredible week in Mobile and is a guy who I think has some very solid potential in the 2024 NFL Draft. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys want to see me talk about in a future video. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at Gabe Hall. Hall has been a rotational piece for the Baylor Bears over the last few seasons, and he's had some solid production when he's been on the field. In 2022, Hall finished the year with 18 hurries, 4 hits, and 4 sacks, and he showed some really nice upside. His 2023 season was almost identical in terms of production, as he finished with 19 hurries, 0 hits, and 2 sacks on the year, and is a guy who has showed some very nice upside. Hall was one of the big Senior Bowl standouts, and this is a guy who has some very intriguing upside to be a potential starter in the NFL. Gabe Hall has some really intriguing size for a defensive tackle. Being 290 pounds isn't incredible, but none of it is dead weight, and he has remarkable length for the position. Hall measured in with an 84 inch wingspan, which was one of the biggest for all the defensive tackles in the draft class. Yes, his size at 290 is a bit small, but he still has the length and the frame to grow a little bit more, and I think he's got great potential due to his size. Alignment versatility is another thing that Hall offers. He played some snaps off the edge, but he also took some snaps on the interior for Baylor. He's a very solid athlete, but where he really wins is with his strength. He has incredible hand placement, and he has the strength to just push you back which I absolutely love about Hall. This is a guy who can bench 500 pounds, and he made Bruce Feldman's freak list. His strength is truly unbelievable, and he continuously shows that on tape due to his active hands, and he shows his ability to win. Some people have questioned the athletic abilities of Gabe Hall, but I really don't buy it. On tape, Hall shows some very nice quickness, he shows some very nice lateral movement abilities, I think he's an above average athlete. We saw it in Mobile. He didn't just win with his strength and power. He won with quickness. And I think he can continue to grow in terms of that. I think he's a really solid athlete. Hall is very much a work in progress though. Yes, the upside is there due to his strength and his athletic abilities and his size, but he really has yet to put everything all together. He's a bit of a tweener between edge and defensive tackle, and he was used as a rotational piece, and the production is lacking as well. Teams who take Hall are going to try and develop him and bank on the upside that he offers. I think Hall works much better as a pass rusher than as a run defender as well. He seemed to really struggle to penetrate the gaps as a run defender, and it shows. I think as a whole, Hall gets too reliant on his power and his strength, and he doesn't have too many moves that he uses to disengage. He has a swim move that he shows occasionally, but it's unpolished. I think he needs to develop a few more moves to get more separation from offensive linemen. Hall also plays with some high pads at times, and he struggles to generate the strength on a consistent basis. We know it's there, but can he generate it consistently is a question some people have with Hall. Gabe Hall has extremely high upside, but he still is an unpolished prospect. With limited moves, weight concerns, and limited production, and questions against the run, Hall is a bit lower on the board for me, as he is my number 14 defensive tackle in the class. I think he can be a very solid player in the league, but he may take a couple of years to really hit his stride. Gabe Hall to me is pretty scheme versatile, but I think a pass rushing 3 tech is where he fits best. He has the ability to play edge potentially, but I think he thrives on the interior. He is super athletic though, and I believe you could play him almost anywhere in the NFL. My player comparison for Gabe Hall is a poor man's Chris Jones. 
Yes, I know, that is an incredibly lofty comparison, but there have already been numerous articles written about the similarities between the two, and you can sort of see it on tape. When Jones was drafted, we knew he was a freak athlete, who also had the tendency to play with high pads. They were both a bit unpolished, and when you look at the athletic testing numbers and the size, they are eerily similar to each other. I'm in no way saying Gabe Hall is going to be as good as Chris Jones, who's one of the best players in the NFL, but the play type and style is very similar, and I think Gabe Hall could be a Walmart version of Chris Jones. Gabe Hall is a green prospect. He has a ton of upside and potential, and his room to grow into his frame is so scary for the league. I think he's going to be a very sought-after prospect down the board, and I believe that Gabe Hall will be a fourth-round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.